Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Exotic Astrology and we are extremely lucky to witness a very important transit of this century, I would say. The transit of Jupiter and Ketu in the sign of Sagittarius. Sagittarius is the exaltation sign for Ketu and it's the Mool Trikon sign for Jupiter. And we are extremely fortunate to witness this. And today we shall discuss on how to best use this conjunction. We will not discuss on what results will come. All right, result, result, result. Fal milega, ye milega, wo milega. None of these things you will find in this video. So if you are thinking that you will see some fancy results, as you will get some million dollars or you will get some lottery, and walk out of this video you won't find anything like that here all right we will only discuss how to use our free will properly because this is a very rare transit which is happening all right so let us not waste time and quickly get into the purpose of this transit and as usual if you are new to the channel then please subscribe to it and if you want a consultation from me regarding this transit for your personalized horoscope then you can always go to my website down in the description and yes, God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you must find him or you will definitely find him now. All right. So there are th three classes of men. The scriptures say that there are three types of men actually. Men, women, everybody included. Not types actually, the classes, you know, levels. <laughs> so there is one, the first class, then there's the second class and then there's the third class. All right. So what are these three classes and how do we know where we belong to? All right. Maybe some of us are in the first class. Maybe some of us are in the second. Some, or maybe some of us are in the third class. We may be anywhere or somewhere in between. So how do we decide who we are and which level we belong to? Well, the first class of people, they are the ones who understand through Shastra Chakshu. Shastra Chakshu means through the eye of the scriptures. What does it mean to understand from the eye of the scriptures? Well, it means that we read the scriptures and we understand what is good for us and what will not make us happy. What will make us happy and what will not make us happy. All right, And then we mold our life accordingly. That's first class. And what is second class? Second class means we hear from the scriptures, we hear from the words of the Guru. But we still don't apply those teachings. And then we end up seeing somebody else. We see, oh, this person did like this, see, he's suffering. That person did like this, look, now she's suffering. And then we understand, ah, oh, yes, 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 yes. I should not do it. Now, now you see he, he or she has suffered. If I do, I'll also suffer. Oh, okay, very good. Let's stay away from it. Or let's do this. Oh, look, he did this. His life changed. Let me also do it. All right? For do's and do's. And then there is a third class. What is third class? Third class means we have heard, we have seen, but yet still we don't understand. And then what happens? The police has to come and teach us that, hey, you did this, now you will be punished. Yes, there's some disease which comes out and then we are like, oh, yes, 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 yes this disease is now telling me that, ah, stop it. Now you can't eat this anymore. Now you can't do this anymore. Why? Because now you are diseased. All right, so we have to decide which class we want to be. All right, so now there are many people who will say that, uh, actually, you know, the first class is a bit dangerous. You need to have some experience. You know? Only then you should uh, learn things in life. So 
so this is like saying uh, you should not pass an exam in the first attempt you should fail two three times and then you should uh, pass it right no it's a foolish statement to make because it is said uh, that experience is the best teacher in life and a fool learns by no other way so experience is for the foolish people experience is only for those people who don't use their brains so they get beatings right left they get hammered by their sinful karma and then they realize and then they say that oh actually you know my life experience taught me this well yes because you are stupid you you saw it coming but you still uh, you still ended up behaving like that all right and yes i forgot to say in the beginning this video as you see it's it's not going to be a very sweet video so if you are starting to not like this video and the things and my tone so you won't like the things that i will say later so if you are not comfortable you only want to hear sweet things all the lullabies and all the great wonderful things of this world then uh, maybe you are in the wrong place so please walk out of the video all right so now what is this uh, referring to astrologically well jupiter represents the first class all right first class means okay the guru has told that this 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 should be your life you should arrange your life like this guru means not spiritually it can be on a material level also suppose like i am from the domain of programming and data science in my uh, it career job in germany so i also have many mentors in this domain they are like my gurus they have also guided me how to do what when and what not to do more important <laughs> because there's so much material on programming on statistics on data science that you literally go, go crazy if you start doing things yourself and then on the spiritual side then on astrology side so when i say guru i don't mean only a guru for your spiritual life it can mean a guru on anything if you are singing you are learning singing then your guru who is teaching you singing then that person is also your guru singing or dancing or anything can your gym trainer can also be your guru all right so the guru tells these are the things that you should do and these are the things that you should stay away from all right so but now the problem is uh, we are doubtful <laughs> all right so we can test ourselves which category we belong to how do we know that just ask yourself when when a guru tells me something do i follow it or not am i able to follow it or i keep waiting for some crazy thing to happen in my life which forces me to follow it not that i follow happily i am forced to follow all right so that thing uh, that we are forced to follow you know, that is more of you know saturn or saturn 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 we get suffering and then we then we understand what is this about and then there is the other extreme we have heard we have seen others we have experienced suffering and even then we don't learn the lessons as in hindi they say na hum kabhi nahi sudharenge hum kabhi nahi sudharenge hum sudhar hi nahi sakte <laughs> all right so these people come under the domain of ketu ketu maharaj right so what does ketu do ketu strips you from something directly chuck it headless head is gone <laughs> all right so let us not force ketu to teach us lessons the hard way not even saturn what to speak of ketu do you want to get beatings in life and only then understand like for example sometimes i meet people and they say सर हम कभी कभी थोड़ा एक हाथ पे एक मार लेते हैं अरे सर ये तो कभी भी छोड़ सकते 
ये क्या है ये तो कुछ नहीं कभी भी बंद कर सकते वी कैन जस्ट स्टॉप इट एनी टाइम आई एम नॉट एडिक्टेड I'm not addicted to alcohol. I'm not addicted to cigarettes. I'm not addicted to meat. I'm not addicted to the opposite sex. I can just stop it any time. This is like to pause button, stop, finished. Well, and then you start, and then you realize, oh my God, it is so difficult. All right, so that is what happens. That the more we make wrong choices in life, this can be in reference to anything. Suppose. we want to take care of we have some disease and we want to take care of our body and then the doctor has suggested that every morning you should get up and you know go for jogging or go to the gym or do some yoga or anything it can be and then we are like no 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 let me try one day two day you know that that tendency to take shortcuts to skip things and to you know or uh, to pretend to ourselves that you know even if i do this things will be fine things will still be okay All right, so that tendency which is there in us, that is our eternal killer. <laughs> All right, so now by this conjunction, we have to understand that it is high time we start making the right choices in our life, because that will create a better destiny for us. Right. so many times people keep arguing oh destiny exists or free will exists well they both always exist together what you did was your it was using your free will and that has created your destiny it's like a person who started smoking one day what happened one day he used his free will wrongly that just one day and the next day what happened He again used his free will in a wrong way. Third day, fourth day, fifth day, sixth day. Oh my God! Your entire life is ruined. Your lungs have surrendered. Now how will I get out? Yes, that's what happens. There, there are some people I know. They have uh, lost so much semen by you know, by indulging in prostitution or multiple affairs with the opposite sex. or nowadays with the same sex or you know by masturbating by seeing uh, pornography and adult material in the internet that by the time they are 30s their bones are not able to uh, function properly because semen which is uh, like in ayurveda as they say na there are there are seven dhatus totally so semen is the last that is shukra that's virya is the last quintessence of your blood when that is out everything is out in your body so if we are wasting our semen like this then zero spiritual progress material progress zero no focus on career going and you know uh, watching youtube or watching tv during your work or sometimes people tell me that Sir, it's my office, and your video is so good. I am watching your video, and then I am like, "Why? It's your office. You should work. You are not supposed to watch any video during your office hours, because that will give you sin. That will give you that that will not give you a good destiny. Because the company is paying you for working, and if you are not working, you are doing adharma that time." even if you are seeing spirituality videos it will still give you suffering later on somehow or the other that money will go you will lose your wallet or somebody will steal your mobile something or the other will happen 100% like once uh, one of my god brothers what he used to do like when he used to go to school i was in, uh, not school college you know i i did my bachelor's in srm university katankula tour in chennai near to chennai so there what he used to do uh, when he used to go to uh, the school the college he was not very much interested in the um, bachelor studies and education so what he used to do is he used to take the bhagavad gita and you know sit in the class and when the teacher is you know teaching you know programming or anything like anything related to his studies he used to read the gita and then he used to come and tell to his guru mara to our guru that oh you know we read this shloka i read this shloka today it was amazing and then like oh, when did you read this today 
He said, oh, actually, you know, the teacher was teaching some very boring stuff. So I took out the Gita and I started it. And my guru chastised him very badly. He said, you, are, you can't do this the next time. During the class hours, you, you cannot read Gita or you cannot read Bhagavatam. You cannot read Bible and all this. Don't do this nonsense. Do what you are supposed to do, where and when and how much. <laughs> all right. So even my guru used to say, after 9.30, if you are talking of Bhagavad Gita or Srimad Bhagavatam, you are actually inviting death. My God. How? How in the universe is discussing about Gita inviting death? Because after 9.30, you are supposed to sleep. So after 9.30, you are discussing about some movie, some cricket, some theater, some news. Or you are discussing about Bhagavad Gita. It's actually the same. All right. So let us learn from the lessons of our past. And let us now at least, because this conjunction will empower us to make the right choices in life. And my mailbox is flooded with so many emails. In fact, that day, recently I was talking to one of my friend. He's there in Klausthal, Germany. <laughs> and he told me that after Jupiter had entered Mula, you know, you know 5th November 2019, so many things are happening in his life. So many changes he had made. Earlier he used to, he was, uh, he used to drink and smoke, and now that is completely gone. And now he's about to become a vegetarian also in the next uh, three to six months, hopefully. <laughs> All right. So he he was telling me that he had learned so many lessons from his you know addictions, and now he's into so much meditation and so many other stuff. You know, some Chinese meditation, some Buddhist meditation, whatever it is, at least something he's doing, which nobody else is doing in this world, or very few people are doing. All right, so this is the best time for us. You will not get a time better than this. Please utilize this time to make the right choices in your married life, in matters of your health, in matters of your spirituality, in matters of astrology, or whatever it is. Go and seek help from your guru or your guide, your counselor or your father or any elder in your family. And for matters of spirituality, your Diksha Guru, your Shiksha Guru, your Pat Pradasta Guru, whoever he is or she is, go and seek guidance for God's sake. Whatever you can learn from 1000 hours of surfing in Google, the guru can tell you in one second, one second, the guru can tell you. That's it. End of the story. <laughs> the Guru can exactly tell you what you are doing wrong and where you should where you should improve or where you can or where you need to improve. All right. So this is the best time to seek guidance from the higher powers of this universe. And whatever you are doing in life, irrespective of that, always remember that ultimately the ninth house is the house of God. So just like you can uh, see in this photo, you know, for example, Arjuna is helpless. He's confused. What should I do? And Krishna is putting his hand over his shoulder, neck. <laughs> and the Krishna is giving knowledge. Do you see this? Uh, Krishna is actually showing this. <laughs> Krishna is showing, you know, have you seen these days, you know, Instagram, Facebook, you know. Like this, people doing that. Krishna is showing that actually. <laughs> Victory sign which politicians give once they win elections, you know, doomed to lose the next time, of course. <laughs> All right, so now is the time that we stop making the wrong choices in life, which we have been making from millions and billions and trillions of lifetimes. And now we make good decisions at least. Abhi nahi to kabhi nahi. All right. There you go. Thank you very much for your patient hearing. And if you like this video, click the thumbs up and share it with others who you think is not making the right choices in life. And if you want a consultation from me regarding this transit, you can go down to the description section of my videos where you will find the link to my website to book a reading. 
and God is there with you all the time. Just look to Him, you will find Him during this transit. All right, thank you very much. See you the next time.